What's up everyone and welcome back to another Pokemon X and Pokemon Y Wi-Fi battle. So it's been really difficult trying to get a good Wi-Fi battle to post on this channel because every battle that I've been through I've either gotten swept or swept people, mostly the second one. But uh, this is a battle against Darren aka Shino World and this was a really good battle because it was... It involved a new Pokemon that I was trying to use, it's Trevenant over here. And he's got a really interesting set that um, I got from Blame Truth. So anyways, looking at his lineup, he's got Gengar, Hitmontop, and I've never seen a Hitmontop in this game before, um, except in that Carlton Dance video, uh, Sylveon, Gardevoir, Greninja, and Charizard. So looking at this lineup, I thought Greninja would be the best Pokemon to start off with, but as you can see as we start off, he starts off with Hitmontop. And I'm going to start off with Kangaskhan. I usually do start off with Rotom Wash when I'm unsure what the opponent's going to use. But this team was actually had a pretty tricky lineup to it. So I was completely unsure what he could have started off with. Greninja seemed proper because he has Protean and it could pretty much beat all my Pokemon if he has the right moves. But anyways, he starts off with Charizard and I start off with Kangaskhan. Right off the bat, we both Mega Evolve. He Mega Evolves into Mega Charizard X and I Evolve or Mega Evolve into Kangaskhan. So... Kangaskhan obviously outspeeds him, or my Kangaskhan obviously outspeeds him because my Kangaskhan's uh, max speed and jolly nature. So he's got massive speed and massive attack because he has max attack, although he doesn't have the nature that increases attack by 10%. But I go for the bite, and the reason a lot of people don't get it, I also used this on Shofu once when I battled him, but I used bite because it has a 60% chance of making the opponent flinch, which is amazing, 60%. And uh, because it's 30 and then 30 again because of the parental bond. And then I go for the bulldoze to wipe him out. And he's going to send out his Hitmontop right now and do the Carlton dance. I'm going to switch out into Aegislash predicting him to go for the... What was it? <laughs> Fake out. And I've, I've got two Pokemon on my team that are ghosts. So if he does beat one of these guys, I can always switch out into the other one. Which is Trevenant. So he's going to send out his Gengar and predicting him to switch out because I know a Hitmontop can't do too much to me. And he probably saw I have the Balloon. So I go for the Sword Stance, and then on the next turn, I go for the Shadow Sneak, which is clearly going to take out that Gengar, unless he has some kind of Focus Sash or something, which I doubt. So, so far, I have a really good um, advantage over him, because I have all six of my Pokemon, and he just lost two of his Pokemon, so it's 6v4. And so now he's going to send out Shinobi, the Greninja, or Shinobi, I don't know, Shinobi, and I go for the stupid move, and I go for the Shadow Sneak. And what I should have done was I should have scouted what he was going to use with King Shield, then one for the Iron Head, and then one for the Shadow Sting. That would have definitely taken him out, even if he's resisting the um, Iron Head. But, and there's a chance I could have made a, well actually I'm slower, so I couldn't have made him flinch. But, he ends up going for the Dark Pulse, taking me out since I'm in attack form. And I switch into my Starmie, because Starmie has Thunderbolt. And I was almost sure that I'd be able to outspeed that Greninja, but that Greninja is way too fast. But anyways, I'm going to send out my Mega Kangaskhan that hasn't even been touched yet. And he's going to go for the Scald and it is going to destroy the beauty of my Kangaskhan and burn it. So now I've got a Kangaskhan burn and I go for the Power Punch, which surprisingly is going to be just enough to take him out. And uh, he told me, I was in the Skype call with him and he told me that uh, since I got two attack boosts, then that makes me even, even canceling out with the burn. But I am going to lose HP every turn. I'm not sure how burn works, so I'd assume it goes down two stages as you get burnt. So, me pulling off two power up punches is gonna probably balance it out. And then I go for the bite, trying to pull off what I did with his Charizard, uh, trying to get the 60% flinch possibility to work, but it doesn't work. And Gardevoir is gonna go for the psychic. And if you know Gardevoir, she has massive special attack. It's gonna take Hank's gun out, and I didn't think the crit mattered because she has massive special attack. So, so I'm gonna end up sending out my Rotom. Wash. He has maxed out special defense IVs, and I kind of trained him in special attack and speed, so it doesn't really matter, which is kind of stupid because Rotom can't really outspeed too many things. But I'm able to live the energy ball and go for the hydro pump, which again is just going to be perfect enough to kill it. So now we're even. We've got three Pokemon versus two Pokemon. Okay, maybe we're not even, but he's going to send out his Hitmon top, obviously trying to go for the fake out, which would be enough to kill this Rotom. So I'm going to go and switch out into Trevenant, which is the pure beauty of this match. So this Trevenant I spent a good 4-5 to five hours on. I get the free switch in, and he's going to switch out as I go for the Leech Seed. He's going to switch out into his final Pokemon, Sylveon, which you haven't seen yet. And I missed the Leech Seed, but even though 
I miss it. I'm gonna end up going for the leech seed again. His Sylveon's gonna go for Shadow Ball, and it's gonna destroy me if it hits me again. But I have the Citrus Berry, which is gonna heal 25% of my health. So I'm gonna be able to live that. I'm gonna go for the Leech Seed and pull off both of those. So now I'm getting extra HP from the Leech Seed, and I've got my HP back up so I can take another um, Shadow Ball. So now I'm gonna go for the Substitute as I get even more HP. And my ability Harvest is gonna give me back my Citrus Berry. So if my HP does go below green into yellow or red, just like how it happened right now, and special attack doesn't matter for Trevenant because he's impish nature, which gets rid of special attack for defense. And so I'm going to go for the substitute, and the really cool thing about it, about his ability and the Citrus Berry combination is, if you can survive a hit and pull off a Citrus Berry, you can always pull off a substitute, if that makes sense, because Citrus Berry heals you by 25%, which is how much substitute takes off when it's making a substitute. But anyways, I get off the substitute and I've got my HP back again from the harvested citrus berry. He's going to take out my substitute with the shadow ball and I'm going to pull off the curse on the Sylveon. So now with the curse on the Sylveon, it's going to cut my HP in half. Well, not cut it in half, but it's going to take half of my max HP, bringing me all the way down to 38 HP and unlikely well not unlikely but unfortunately i'm not gonna get the harvest the citrus berry back so i'm gonna be forced to switch out because i do want to save this travenant for later on because this is his spotlight i mean he's gotten far so far so i'm gonna go ahead and switch into rodan because i want to see if i can just stall two more turns for sylveon's curse to completely kill it so he's gonna go for the shadow ball it's gonna destroy my rodan and i've only got hydreigon and my trevenant left so we're both even we've got 2v2 and his Sylveon's down to red. If it's about to take one more curse, it's going to die. So I go back, well, I go into my Hydreigon, and I'm going to switch right out back to my Trevenant because I want to use it as dead fodder. But I don't know why, but he switches out into his Hitmontop again. I guess he really did not want to die to the curse. And Hitmontop just gives me the perfect opportunity to set up once again. I really, my main intention was to use Trevenant as a death fodder but i get the harvested citrus berry back again my hv's back at like 60 percent and i'm able to set up another substitute and leech seed and curse on this hitmontop because well his hitmontop is all physical and my trevenant's main defense is his physical defense so he's gonna try hitting me a few more times with his physical attacks and i'm gonna be able to pull off the leech seed the curse and the substitute i'm not sure if i pull off the curse on this hitmontop but one thing to note that Curse is a ghost move, but even though it's a ghost move, it can still hit fighting and normal types. And I get this Citrus Berry once again. It's just too much. He constantly gets it, and he just constantly heals himself. And it's like an overpowered leftovers. It's way too much. And, I mean, there's big flaws to this. Bring a Cloister with Skill Link. Bring a Mega Heracross with Skill Link. Everything. There's, there's a bunch of counters to this. Well, maybe not a bunch. All you need is a fast, bulky um, Pokemon or a Pokemon with Skill Link. So, Mega Heracross gets Skill Link and it learns Pin Missile. So, that'd be a really good idea against this Trevenant, even though he has max defense. So, it'd probably be best if you want to counter this Trevenant to send a Cloister. I forget what the Ice move is called, but it hits up to five times. And it works really well with Cloister. But, you can already predict what's going to happen here. My Trevenant's way too much for his team. And at this point, I'm able to just set up another substitute as I'm going to get my <laughs> HP back once again. And he's going to die to two more leftovers. So, And uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the beginning of the video, but this Trevenant does not belong to me. I did not make this Trevenant. I take no credit. This was amazingly and strategically created by Blame Truth on his second channel, not Blame Truth. He did spotlights of really good movesets. You should check it out. And... Really, if you don't bring the right team and the right counter, and the right counter to this guy is so unpopular, so he is a really good, um, I don't know, bulky threat. He's got the moves that will destroy you, and the bulkness that will take hits, and the ability that will heal him. He is too much, and I mean, like I said, no one brings a good counter to this guy, because Cloyster is easily defeatable if you don't use him correctly and everything. But anyways, that will take out his Hitmontop from the Leech Seed. I get my HP back, and behind the Substitute, there's nothing the Sylveon can do. It's going to go for the Shadow Ball, break my sub. If the sub wasn't there, Sylveon would have won instantly. But 
I have the sub up. I'm gonna go for the Shadow Claw, and that is GG. Sadly, Hydreigon got nothing to do in this match. He's just sitting there. But this was an amazing match. I'm really happy I got to use Trevenant. This is the second match I used Trevenant in. And the first time I've actually successfully used him. And the real trick to using him is once you successfully set up a substitute without the opponent breaking it on the first turn, then you're that's it. You're done. You just set up the leech seed and then substitute again. And then the harvest will automatically just guide you to what you're supposed to do. You're, there's not like a set pattern you're supposed to follow. But yeah, this was an amazing match. I really do like this match. And well, this is actually a rematch. He, I had a battle with him before this. And there's a reason I had to rematch him, which you'll be able to see if you go to his channel by clicking the link in the description. He has the video uploaded of the original match we did. And I'm not going to lie, I got owned at some times. I owned him, but yeah, that's what you're going to have to find out yourself. So if you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave a like and leave a comment I don't know, on our teams on how OP you think Trevenant is. And let's see if we can break 150 likes on this video. That's pretty much what I'm asking for each Wi-Fi battle because... I haven't really done Wi-Fi battles before. This is the third Wi-Fi battle, and it's been going really well so far, so I'm really happy about that. But anyways, I will see you guys next time.